usually um, it's not the case that we're testing the uh, applicant's knowledge of the subject matter. So in law, for example, uh, the point of the admissions test is not to work out whether they have a good knowledge of law, uh, rather it's just to test their aptitude for studying a subject like law. There is no pass or fail in the admissions test. Um, we take into account the results of that test alongside all the other information that we have about the applicant. References, school grades, uh, and the personal statement. So for the maths admissions test, it's called the MAT, um, and it's, I think it's a two and a half hour paper. Because you do it in maybe October of uh, A2, it's all based on maths content that you would have covered in your first year. So it's very much more about applying the stuff that you know rather than your knowledge. So I tried doing a couple of the old practice papers and they are quite daunting at first. They're, they really sort of make you think and I was a bit worried that, you know, that was going to be <laughs> Um, what would stop me getting into Oxford that I wouldn't be able to pass the BMAT. But I just carried on doing practice papers and kept working on the things that I wasn't doing so well at. So the history aptitude test is supposed to be hard. You're not being tested on what you know. You're being tested on uh, how you're able to think. So the point about that test is that you're not supposed to know actually anything in terms of facts or data for it. We're not testing you on that. In that respect, it's not like any exam you've ever done at school. So there is no preparation that you can do for it, actually, except for maybe checking out what the paper looks like uh, on the faculty website so that you can see what you're going to be faced with in terms of the format, what kind of questions are asked, how it works. It's very structured, it's very standard, um, and it's it, there'll be a lot of advice available on the History Faculty website about that. The Oxford Admissions Test for Law is the LNAT and that requires uh, sort of a lot of passages of text and you have to basically figure out what the main message is or they'll ask you a question like why was this comma used for example. Um, it doesn't test your law knowledge specifically um, but more sort of the skills you have. So to prepare I read a lot of newspaper articles and I tested myself on what the main message was from each article um, why they'd use certain words and what I really took from it, the key points. Because that's basically all the LNAT asked you to do, it asked you to be analytical. The thing that really helped me along the way there was reading articles. Reading articles um, and if it's a source-based question, which I believe the hat just is now, just do some comprehension. Think about what uh, what this you know article that you might be reading, this past paper source, um, this is source in a history book. Who is it addressed to? What does it imply? State the obvious as well as uh, as well as the outlandish. And what doesn't it say? What is the source? What is the source missing? And is there you know a purpose behind that? 